evening all welcome back to space engineers so here we go we're in orbit around jupiter apparently um is that jupiter i guess it's got to be really isn't it a jupiter-esque looking planet and we're testing our automated automated automaton automata whatever um systems because we want to actually <laughs> we want to try and figure out a way to build things without having to actually do it because we're lazy bastards and this is a wonderful wonderful game to now allow it um if you if you love space engineers and let's face it why wouldn't you um you must probably bear in mind that there is um a lot of this game embedded in a in a mod from minecraft called tech it if you've never heard of Tech It, oh, you're in for such a treat. Just Google it, download it, play it. It's good. It's really, really good. Um, I think it's, you need a Minecraft license, I guess. I guess. I don't know. But um, a lot of what you see here in Space Engineers is, is evidently inspired by Tech It, which is, a, I guess, a technology plaque to the block building game. Technology plaque? technology pack to the to the building game which is minecraft and it's rather good um anyway let's continue with this thing here now to be honest what i am doing here is just blatant copying i really liked the uh the modular little ship that they had in the space engineers update video where it kind of picked up a tool and used it then dropped it picked up another tool set and then dropped it i like that so we're gonna we're gonna use that um, I just thought that was a really nice, um, I don't know, just to, to me that was a really great use of merge blocks because you could just have, you, know, multi, you can have one ship and three tool sets instead of three ships, which is actually quite nice. So yeah, we're definitely gonna, we're definitely gonna do that. Um, but still getting used to the rotor controls. At this point, this is actually filmed quite some time ago now. Um, this, I think when this was on, I was watching England getting beaten by Uruguay, I believe, I could be wrong. Uh, but uh, yeah, um, to be honest, uh, what can you do? But there we go, look at this, look at this. Oh my God, it's building it and it's building it well. To be honest, it's still got that issue with the middle layer. You see that kind of middle layer there. It's not still right. It's not fit for purpose just yet. Um, and you'll see why and how, etc. in a moment. Now, the way that these um, large ship welders work is they're connected into the storage system, the conveyor system effectively. Um, so they are drawing minerals, sorry, they're drawing materials from the cargo build themselves. So this is like, it's all you know, very carefully wired together. I did this because I think you need to do that because um, you, know, you don't, to be honest, you want to just build the frame and then leave it to it. You don't have to be sat there messing about with the frame or anything like that. You just want to get on with it. Um, so hopefully that makes sense. And to be honest, it's still not really working. It's still not quite right just yet. So um, yeah, let's have another play with it. It's almost there though, look at that. It is pretty awesome that it's done all that automatically alone. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna finish the engines quickly myself. I know it sucks, but what can you do? Because I need to clear the frame. I need to actually remove uh, I need to remove the crane and I need to play with the crane. Now at my at this particular you know, juncture, I was thinking to myself, well, the best thing to do possibly at this point, surely, is um, is just like put another module, another area on it and then have a rotor that rotates plus or five degrees. No, you'll see we don't need to do that at all. And in fact, it's probably a waste of time to even try and do that. Oh, I've just realized that's, <laughs> that's a bit of my old build. Oh, this could be fun. Let's have a... Let's push that into the welders and let's see what happens. Now, I do like the fact that there is this kind of welding thing. Look at that as we go. Oh, isn't zero gravity a wonderful thing? <laughs> isn't that awesome? It is great. I love it. <laughs> oh, we didn't do that last bit. Oh, well. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, my God. It's the simple things, I swear. But I'll tell you what, that was actually quite gratifying watching that. Anyway, we're going to power up this thing and we're going to basically move it off the pad and um, then, you know, well, you'll see, you'll see. So as we get in here, we just click, uh, click P and then we're basically away. Now, the, the vast majority of the, the frame is there. Um, it's things like the beacon and stuff like that that really we couldn't do much about. So, you know, it's a shame, but we can't do much about that. Anyway, I do have a plan and this plan is amazing. And um, I should have been thinking of the rotisserie that you get at supermarkets, you know the one I mean, because uh, that's really where the idea comes from. Uh, to be honest, we're just going to put a rotor on the end of this thing, and we're then just going to use it to rotate 
360 degrees. So it's going to basically slow cook like a hog roast <laughs> the uh, the ship. It sounds crazy. It sounds stupid. But I'll tell you what, it bloody works. Um, I am loving rotors, by the way. I've got to admit, if you've not played with rotors yet, give them a go. They are rather enjoyable. And plus, to be honest, they are, once you've set them up, they're pretty reliable as well. They're pretty infallible almost as well. So the idea here, and again, this couldn't be simpler really, it's just going to rotate you know, 360 degrees while it's being welded and then, then happy days. Um, we're going to carry on using our little stanchions as just the connectors. They're, they're, they're kind of throw away, so if we, we, we can always just cut them off if we're building a bigger ship <clears throat> or add a smaller one if we're building a smaller. So, you know, I kind of like that. So there we go, that's our new crane right there. So let's just put maybe one more on it. Maybe not, I can't remember how long it was actually. <laughs> Uh, yeah, maybe. Oh, I can't remember now. Anyway, let's have a look. So we'll actually give it a test. So this time around, I need to actually figure out where that rotor is. So let's just click that on. So anyway, let's go and have a look at it. So there we go. So, oh, it's actually building the end one. Isn't that nice of it? So that's just perfect. In fact, that is absolutely perfect. So, oh, it's even built them. Nice. So what we'll do now. <clears throat> Is um, should we build these? Probably not. I think it's probably a bit more materials than really I need to bother with. Uh, but what we need to do is set up that third rotor so that actually it works in, I guess, synchronization with the whole build. Um, you could possibly even connect them. I think this is slightly older footage, and now you actually get power through rotors. So that, well, this obviously is part of that. But as you can see, there's an orange rotor, so that shows it's connected through another rotor, if that makes sense. Um, and all we need to do with this one is effectively just set it to spin with a high, relatively high braking torque um, speed, I would probably say. So we go, we're just going to reverse our original group. Um, there we go, backing on to the little crane bunk, there we go. So this is ready for a proper, proper test now, and this in theory should weld <clears throat> everything that you see so let's try it as we reverse and let's have a look there we go oh no oh oh yeah oh no oh no no oh bang <laughs> well i want to call that a partial success because look it's actually building it i think maybe i got the braking torque wrong i don't know i need to look at that but to be honest other than the cockpit which did kind of suffer that is working perfectly. It's welding every single module beautifully. Oh my god, that is good. This <laughs> this game continues to amaze me. Every time I play it, I'm just amazed at how much more you can do with it. I'd probably reduce the speed by maybe half because that's a bit over the top. Um, and the top uh, the top welding deck isn't really doing anything anymore. So maybe we get rid of them entirely. But anyway, for now they'll stay. Um, there's no real need to turn them off. But yeah, that's <clears throat> I'm blown away by that. <laughs> I'm actually quite happy with that. I think it maybe have been the velocity it spanned by. I'm not sure. We'll need to look into why it did that. Um, I, I don't know. Sometimes you can never be too sure what on earth the problem is with um, with rotors. You just need to do trial and error, and eventually you'll figure it out. Now let's talk. I mean, you know, post in the comments. Does this is this any good? You know, I mean, have people have done something similar to this? Because I can't be the like the only one who's thought of this. I'm no, I'm not. Um, but I just like this idea of automated kind of building. So again, you could even have, whoa, God, someone's out with that. <laughs> I like the idea of having this kind of automated building um, system that just you, you create your frames. You could even park your frames with a, a little, um, you know, shunting uh, drone buggy thing that you have. You know what I mean? It's just, if you could, you could really do something quite cool here with like a whole range of frames that you then eventually build. I really like the idea of it. There's something just, Oh yeah, something that really got my internal geek going right there. So there we go, our little crane is looking good. And to be honest, I think this is this has got to be a success really. And I know we uh, we kind of lost the... Oh, it hasn't actually done everything as well. Maybe it's the, the speed it was spinning was probably a little fast. So there we go, good, good learning points. But again, you know, solid stuff, you know, hopefully that that's going to be quite a tough little ship right there. Plus the module um, merge block on the front will be very useful when we come to build our tools as well. There we go. So again, it's not too much of a problem if I build this. <clears throat> Probably don't want to. I think if I just maybe set up the braking torque properly, it won't do it again. 
Um, to be honest, you just have to accept that sometimes these things happen. In fact, maybe the braking torque, or is it the rotational speed? I forget which one it is. You need to turn it down so that it doesn't wrench it off. It just If it just touches something, it will stop. That's probably what I should have done now I think about it. So we go, continuing the build. This just makes building these small ships an absolute joy, I can assure you, because you're not having to do the boring bit, which is welding. So there we go. Check out next time as we refine this build and we refine the crane a little bit more. Hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you next time.